Pokemon Edition Nintendo consoles have been on my wish list since I was a kid. But these special edition releases that usually celebrate brand new games or anime launches never quite lined up with when I actually was capable or interested in purchasing a console. So the closest thing I've ever gone to one are mods that I've done myself, but that changes today. Now this isn't a review because I've done a whole separate video for that, so we'll just be looking at what makes this unique. First off, the box has artwork all over, and it's much more lively than the original box. Inside, the contents are identical. You have your console, a charger, and a couple documents. When you pull the light out, the first thing that catches your eye are the cyan and magenta buttons. It's a little bit hard to convey through video, so I'm hoping that I'm doing it justice, but it really pops and is absolutely amazing in person. I think much of this has to do with the base grade they decided to go with, which is really reminiscent of the original Game Boy and SNES. That just adds another factor of nostalgia. On the back of the Switch, we have trace artwork of the two brand new legendaries from Sword and Shield made of reflective metallic paint that at certain angles really catches the light, making the design really eye-catching. The only other difference I was able to spot is that the software now detects this new color scheme in the controller options but that's pretty much it. Overall, this is a really aesthetically pleasing console. So for all of you that DM me saying, I should definitely get this, no question, this did not disappoint. So I'll leave you guys with a question too. What is your favorite Pokemon Edition console? Let me know in the comment section down below. Mine are either the NYC Pokemon Center Edition Game Boy Advance or the Japanese Charizard 3DS XL. Anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time.